Um, <coughs> hello, Carol. Um, uh, so, to, just to give a bit of an intro to this video, you've got um, polycystic kidney disease, and uh, your kidneys are at um, <laughs> end stage of something or other. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you have been on hemodialysis since October 2012, so you've been doing it for a year now and have recently um, started doing hemodialysis at home. So can you tell me what are the main things that you'd like to say to somebody who's thinking about um, opting for home hemodialysis? Firstly, go for it. Um, there's always this mystique about medicinal procedures and health procedures. Doing dialysis yourself is not rocket science. Um, if I can learn it, anybody can learn it. Um, it's really just a series of uh, repeated actions that you learn in the same way as you learn to practice the piano. The other thing that's worth knowing is there's some very useful, um, nice guidance, which is the National Institute of Clinical Excellence from, I think it's 2003, might be 2002, it basically says if somebody is assessed as suitable for home hemodialysis they should be offered it. It's guidance, not law, but nevertheless it's a useful tool in dealing with renal services. Basically believe that you can do it because you can. Okay, that's, no, that's good. Um, well, I suppose that sort of leads me on to the next question which is around um, what's kept you going um, through the whole process of, of getting the dialysis at home um, and <clears throat> getting the training that you've needed from the Healthcare Trust? Um, I do find, I have to say in all honesty, um, as an informed intelligent patient, it's not always easy dealing with the NHS. Um, so in some ways, quite a few years ago, I adopted a, a mantra from a Vic Vic old Victoria Wood sketch which says you don't give up you don't give in if you want to be a doormat paint well for your ass and lie down on your face but don't come here <laughs> and, uh, kind of, you know i think i needed that bit of humor as well to keep me going um through dealing with the nhs um so i think it's very much about um you have to be quite assertive um, and I had to sort of push quite a bit because everything happened so slowly in the NHS so inevitably you have to push things along um, and get things moving a little bit quicker and um, sorry what was the other part of the question? Well the, the, we, the question is you know what's kept you going and you know yeah I was yes I thought you mean sorry I was drifting off a bit there um, the things that kept me going, first my partner um, has kept me going very much, um, her support and encouragement and uh, belief in the sheer bloody mindedness of the NHS <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and also just a belief that I can, it's about managing kidney disease, it's about managing it um, and that was really my starting point and um, my belief is that many, many patients can take a very active part in managing chronic diseases like kidney disease. And inform yourself, um, informing myself has been an ongoing process from a very low baseline because, hey, you know, I didn't need to know anything about kidney disease for many, many years. And also, informing yourself means that um, health professionals have to take you a little bit more seriously. Okay, that's great. Um, thank you. Um, so, I suppose the last the last question is: What's the single most um, what's the what's the biggest advantage of doing hemodialysis at home? What's the outstanding thing? It's usual to say and think of. Ideas like flexibility and 
not having to go to a renal unit three times a week. And of course that's true. But I think thinking about it, it's it's what's central is the maybe the best thing for me is just this whole what you're doing is you're managing it yourself. You're managing the disease yourself. You're running the machine, you're setting up the heparin, you're setting up the iron and administering the RNS. Um, it's not rocket science. Anybody can do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, then. <laughs> Probably you'd be on Parkinson next. Yes, it's lo <laughs> lovely. Lovely, darling. Yes, <laughs> it's lovely, lovely. You think so, Reggie. <laughs>